morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. All right, the sun has just broke over the berm probably about 15 minutes ago. It was very colorful in a way. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll be sticking it at the end of today's episode. All being well. Now, once again, I want to go out and work on my, my bike box this morning. Yesterday, I left it too late. Uh, I, know I, I know I cut off the video a little bit early and said I'm going to go out, but I actually I didn't get out right away. So I want to be a little bit more organized and... Uh, I think I think what I found yesterday I was I you know by the time mid afternoon rolled around and I quit on it well I guess it was around two in the afternoon I was getting pretty tired my my knees were getting really really sore from the constant constantly being on my arthritic knees and and twisting I had to be very very careful each time I I took a step because uh, the the uh, if I if I if I and twisting or especially if I'm holding a piece of lumber or something like that and and I'm not really paying attention yeah you got to be careful yeah anyway enough about that we'll see what happens today uh, yeah I, I was mentioned yesterday I bought uh, six s sheets of plywood and I think if I can get rid of one a day in <laughs> in a week the bike box should be almost ready to fold together this might be a good place to pause and uh, insert a clip that I actually took yesterday but forgot to insert. So, uh, yeah, here we go. When my neighbor was over having coffee with me yesterday, we were looking at this plywood and we were talking about the fact that lumber is not always uh, the size that they say it is. And we were looking at this lumber here and we thought that when the, all six sheets are fastened together, like they are right now, it almost looks like uh, that is three inches. Now, if you remember, this is supposed to be uh, two foot by four foot by half inch thick, and there's six of them, so the, the distance all the way across here should be three inches, because they're half an inch each. Now, I know it doesn't look like it, but there is actually six sheets there. Um, okay, let's, let's just move in just a little bit here. Okay, we're going to uh, get this thing up and running here. Okay, right now it is on uh, millimeters. I'm going to change it to inches. Okay, it should be on inches, and I do believe it's at zero. It's kind of hard to read, isn't it? Well, we'll do the best we can here. Maybe I can enhance this in editing later. Okay, what do we got going on here? trying to trying to adjust it so that you can read it here well it, it, it's a little bit less but it, you know it, it's pretty close it's pretty close but it's not three inches okay well I'm sort of right but not nearly not nearly as right as I thought I was anyway uh, what can we do here today? I think we're going to get the camera down here on the model table again and we'll remove our clamp, which has been on now for, oh my goodness, almost almost 24 hours. It should be, <laughs> our glue should be about as hard as it's going to get. Now, uh, Jeff Donahue was mentioning it might be a good idea to take this module and put it into the shell to make sure that everything is going to fit. So uh, I think maybe after I get the clamp off, uh, that might be a real good idea. Uh, you know, if there's any adjustments that have to be ma made, it's uh, going to be a lot easier to do it, you know, before everything is glued together. 
Yeah, um, let, let's just, just sort of recompose here. I don't think I have any big news. Uh, the weather, uh, when I checked the weather last night, uh, they were predicting showers, 30% chance of showers for later today. Uh, <clears throat> but that means a 60% chance it won't. <laughs> Yeah, or would it be 70? Uh, it'd be 70, it's even better. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I haven't checked the weather this morning, but I do, the, the weather right now plays a big a big part of how fast I can get my e-box done, e-bike box done. Uh, no, motorcycle box done. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, um, enough uh, muddling here. Uh, let's... Uh, recompose and uh, take our clamp off and uh, maybe maybe get our shell here on the table. Uh, I am getting such a mess going on here. I got a lot of stuff that I don't need on the table on the table. So uh, okay. Oh uh, I got another comment from somebody. Sorry I can't remember who it was now but they were talking about these these stools and the thought was that uh, that it could be that after everything is all sort of closed in, it might be difficult to, to place the stools and they, they have to go in the, uh, in the uh, radio and sonar room right here and here. I, I don't know, I think I should be able to. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll check that out too when, when, the, uh, when the shell is on because what's going to happen is this, this ceiling part is going to be sort of over top of everything. So, you know, it could be that there's some truth to that. Um, anyway, uh, let's uh, recompose. Okay, just to refresh your memory here, this part that I'm touching right now was not touching this part. And uh, it was pulling away. Now I think we're more than safe to take this off. Yeah, that's that's not gonna. All right. Okay, let's <clears throat> let's get the other uh, module on the on the table here, and uh, not module, but the shell, and uh, the other module is the uh, torpedo room. But we already tried it, and I think we concluded it it would fit. Okay, I'm realizing that possibly I am a little bit premature here because we can't really tell exactly where these, well, we can tell exactly where these are going to go. They're, they're going to go like this. This one's going to go right here. And this one. is going to go if you see these 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 tabs here they go in slots in the side of the okay like that however there is going to be a slight difference once this module is glued in place. So I think what we're going to, have to do is start assembling this as per steps 25 here. And, uh, and, and uh, before we get too far, uh, see, it, it, it seems to me that they, if I read the instructions right, it, it said something about uh, Where is it here? Where did I read it? Yeah, install first. Uh, they they want this this uh, ceiling section installed first before I'm assuming before before this module. So uh, and then the other and then the, and the other piece sort of slips in place, I guess. Um, so let's let's do that. It says install first. So let's let's go ahead and and, and glue this in in place, 
uh, you know, where it's supposed to go here. Okay, as I mentioned, it says install first, which means that it should go something like this. And that's actually locked into place there pretty good. Now, all of this, I believe, comes first, though, before this first. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, we better finish up over here. For instance, we were working on this. Uh, oh, somebody was th thinking it was possibly a rack for where you would attach uh, electrical wires. And that's that sort of makes sense. It it, it could be what the, what what that is. Like this is this is still loose here, and uh, there is a hole. I don't know if it goes all the way through. Uh, no, it doesn't. These these holes are positioning holes for for the uh, this part right here. So, uh, yeah, I, I could sort of see something down in there. I'll probably have to do this off camera because there's no way I can look down it, it, beside the, the toilet there and uh, you at the same time. As much as I really enjoy trying to do that sort of thing, to see that's part of the challenge of this. How much of this can I actually show being videoed? But I've mentioned that several times before. Okay, um... Uh, Maybe I'll just go ahead and uh, glue this in place. It it looks to me like it is about a millimeter or two away from from this from this bulkhead. That's what it looks like to me anyway. Uh, so we'll, we'll put it in place. We won't glue it up against the side, and we'll wait to see what happens when it when it comes time to uh, put put the, this piece on here. Uh, Although I'm not, I'm not seeing any anything here where where this part would come up against. Uh, maybe it'll maybe it'll make more sense once we actually start, you know, getting over to this area here. Okay, that's the plan for right now. Let's let's uh, let's finish up this right here. Okay, I can almost see them. Uh, when I'm looking in the monitor right now. But on the other side of that pipe that the toilet is sitting on, there are two little holes that kind of match up with the bottom of this. And, uh, and the idea is to try and get the... get this down in those holes. And... I, th I think it is. It, it it kind of like you know. It, this is just staying there all by itself at sort of the right angle. So I'm thinking that if I was to put a little bit of glue on the end of the of the now I can't pick it up here. There we go. Yeah, it seemed that it did actually plug into something. Could be you're seeing it a lot better than me. Um, yeah, put a little bit of glue on, on the end there. And just drop this down. I mean, not, not even need glue. Cause it, it does sort of almost want to stay there. Yeah, it's, it seems to just kind of lock into place almost. Oh, no, no, it's not. I had it better before. Okay, I'm going to work at it. It'll be a lot easier for me to try and do this off camera. Now, the other day when I was looking here, I, I saw this as one slot. I didn't notice that it actually depicts two, two different uh, holes there. Now, this may not be a good idea, but what I'm going to try to do is just sort of taper the ends here. And my hope is that that it's going to uh, allow them to be a little bit, you might say, pointy. 
This is hard to do on camera. <laughs> but you get the idea. Now, as I was sitting here editing out this video, Missy the dog came to the door. She actually rang the bell. She is one smart dog. Anyway, grabbed the GoPro and ran to the door. Well, hobbled to the door. Okay, sort of limped. Kind of a shuffling old man limp. Yeah, we got there anyway. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Missy. Sorry about the walk. The leash extension should be here on Sunday. The leash extension. Mm -hmm. And that'll, Missy, you're going to be happy. <laughs> Okay. Oh, me, she loves her up the rocks. Let me just move in a little bit here. Let me move in a little bit here. Today is haircut day for Pooch. Oh, you're getting a haircut today? The spa. Hmm. Okay, what do we got in my pocket? Shampoo and a haircut. If I was her, I'd cut the hair then shampoo. What's going on over here now? What's going on over here? What's Missy? <laughs> Sometimes I think her eyesight isn't too good. No, her eyesight is good. She sees whatever she wants to see. Oh, that's what it is. She, she's just just pretending. She just pretending, huh? Okay, I'm glad you liked it, Missy. She can see things that other people. <laughs> you're a good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Okay. Okay. Now let's remember this is the one that trips. the top here and the tapered ends oh I, I used uh, Chris's file here to to get the inside it worked out pretty good now okay let's not drop it now get this out of the way now this is the, uh, what I call the Tamiya Thick. There. I actually felt it going down into the holes. Now we'll just leave that there like that. I think that's probably the way it's supposed to go. And uh, in real life, what was it? Was it, a, was it a rack that you'd fasten wires on? Or something? I don't know. Kind of makes sense. Okay, I'm planning on stopping at 9 o'clock this morning. No matter at what point I am in the build here. I'm just going to drop my hammer when the whistle blows, as the story goes. Now, we're at, we, we, we did this just now. We did this yesterday. We're at the place now where it wants us to put this module, or this, this piece of batteries, uh, battery components. Yeah, these are all batteries. I don't know if there's going to be more later or not. Seems to me there's, there is a lot more batteries in, in the, uh, on the sprues yet, so. Yeah, for the motors that big, <laughs> you'd need big batteries and lots of them. Okay, now, you can see I've got a couple of tabs here they have they have to go into the bottom here and here okay and I'm wondering if and I haven't tried this yet but I think that this is probably the easiest way to do this it should be safe to put upside down like this okay I might have to sort of prop it up a little bit but that way I can see what I'm doing here and uh, we can also 
kind of let gravity be our friend. Uh, yeah, I'll be able to see a lot better. I will probably have to reposition a little bit here. And we're going to have to prop this end up so it's going to be the right height while the, while the glue... Yeah, th this is going to be eas easily broken because it's, it's a, there's a lot of... Uh, yeah, there's there's a, a lot of leverage. Leverage is the word I'm looking for. Okay, I'm I'm just going to reposition here and uh, set up kind of a jig, I guess you might say, something that's going to hold this so it doesn't want to fall over. Maybe uh, maybe one of my little uh, mini clamps might work. Fasten it on here somewhere. At least that's the plan right now. I want to be careful I don't go sticking my, my fingers in here. So far I've been lucky. I haven't broken anything as far as I know. Then, then this part here, the L8, it goes on afterwards somehow. Uh, yeah. Or is it maybe, maybe it doesn't get mounted on this part here. Maybe what it just does is it, if you follow the arrow along, it just sort of sticks in a slot here. Yeah, down here. Anyway, we'll worry about that when we get to it. Let's, let's uh, get ourselves recomposed here. What time we got? We got about 13 minutes yet. Okay, we've got two minutes to go here, and there's a change in plans. Okay, I do believe that this is locked in place. Now, this is my thinking on this. When these two pegs go into these slots right here, I think that where is it here? Okay, when these two pegs go into these two slots here, I think this one here is supposed to go into it's either this one or this one. I haven't tried it yet, so. But it all it all has to happen all at the same time. It, yeah, obviously it's it's the, it's the it's the top one. Okay, so I have to get something something like this set up. I think this might be the best way to go. In that way, I will I will know that that I've got the uh, the angle of this piece right in order to the uh, to match up with the uh, deck. Um, it is 30 seconds after 9. I am going to call it quits, folks. I want to say thank you so much for watching. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.